Hi everyone, welcome to the Celebrity Diaries. Lawanda Page uncovering the insider facts secret in the walls of the deserted house and disentangling the secrets of a lady who caught the hearts of a great many individuals Lawanda Page, an American entertainer and jokester, persevered through heritage in the realm of diversion, procuring a standing as the sovereign of parody or the sovereign of dark parody. At the hour of her passing in September 2002, her total assets were assessed to be $500,000, regardless of the unobtrusive monetary figure, Dad's effect on parody and TV was significant and extensive. Dad's vocation was multi-layered, set apart by her noteworthy ability in both stand-up satire and acting. She delivered five performance parody collections with her 1977 delivery watch, its sucker turning into a success, what's more, cementing her position in the satire world. Notwithstanding her performance work, she worked together on two collections with the parody bunch skillet, Lero and Organization, further displaying her flexibility and comedic virtuoso as an entertainer. Paige is best associated with her famous job as Esther Anderson on the famous TV sitcom Sanford and Son, which broadcast from 1972 to 1977. Esther Anderson, known for her sharp tongue and scripturally propelled jokes, turned into a darling person. Dad's depiction of Esther was set apart by her perfect timing, strong presence, and sharp mind that left crowds in lines. Her presentation was a champion on the show. Making Esther an essential character in TV history, Leanda Page was brought into the world on October 19, 1920, in Cleveland, Ohio, a city known for its rich social history. The little girl of Willie Richmond and Estella Little Page was encircled by a sustaining family climate. She had a more established sister. Anna was brought into the world in 1912 with whom she shared a close bond. Regardless of industrious bits of gossip, she was not connected with Lynn Hamilton, her co-star on the notable sitcom Sanford and Son. This confusion was explained by Dean Wilson, who played Lamont Sanford on the show, when he openly expressed in 2016 that the two entertainers were not sisters since the beginning. Paige has shown a reasonable enthusiasm for the media outlet. She frequently depicts herself as normally gifted. Furthermore, she asserts that she won't ever figure out how to sing or move officially her intrinsic capacities. Radiated through during her childhood at the point when she proceeded as an artist at the well-disposed in settlement in Cleveland, this public venue show to the Ladies' Christian Cooperation gave a stage for youthful gifts, like Paige to grasp their abilities. The Paige family later migrated to St. Louis, Missouri where Lawanda went to Banica Rudimentary School. It was here that she met John Elroy Sanford, who would later become popular as Red Fox, notwithstanding being two years more seasoned than Fox. The two fostered an association that would later demonstrate criticality in their professions. Both wandered into the universe of satire. Leanda Page's profession direction took a huge turn when she joined the cast of Sanford. What's more, Sun is a sitcom that turned into a social peculiarity. Her depiction of the sharp tongue, the book of scriptures citing an Esther, was both noteworthy and weighty. The science among Paige and Fox on screen was electric drawing on their shared history. In common regard, previously Sanford and Sun both had acquired experience on the Chitlin Circuit, organization of settings that gave African-American performers with chances to perform during the time of racial, Isolation Leanda Page started her distinguished lifetime at the youthful age of 15 in Stee Lewis. Her underlying introduction to the universe of execution was through the dazzling specialty of fire moving, an expertise that incorporated a progression of trying and outwardly dazzling stunts. These demonstrations involved gulping fire lighting coordinates and cigarettes with her fingertips and in any event, strolling a blaze displaying her intrepid nature and ability Dad's initial profession saw her partaking in a dance show, while all the while filling in as a server at the Metal Railroad Club, a task she held for quite some time. This period was pivotal in leveling up her exhibition abilities and stage presence. Her fire-moving demonstration took her on visits across the U.S. and past gracing clubs in Canada. Brazil and Japan, this worldwide openness, set her standing as a surprising entertainer in the clubs where she performed. Page frequently shared the stage with the absolute most generally famous entertainers of the time, including Red Fox. Furthermore, Richard earlier expressed this openness to top-level comedic ability probably affected her change into the universe of satire in the mid-1960s page, 
made a huge move to Los Angeles, California, where she joined the parody bunch Skillet and Leroy This Gathering, was known for its remarkable kind of humor and immediately turned into a famous demonstration. Leanda Page's comedic ability procured her the titles of Sovereign of Parody and Sovereign of Dark Parody during the last part of the 1960s and mid-1970s. Her work with Giggle Records created five performance live satire collections alongside a few cooperative collections with Skillet Leroy and co-performing under the stage name Leanda Page, her parody was no for it. Body blue humor with the eminent exemption of her generally spotless rational counsel collection delivered two years after her work on the network show, Sanford and Son finished Page's one-of-a-kind comedic style included That's What Expanded Expressed Word section. It's commended the dark custom of congrats and tokens. One of her best deliveries was a collection named Watch It Sucker, which promoted on her freshly discovered TV distinction. This collection's name was gotten from one of her character Auntie Esther's expressions on Sanford and Child a Job that brought her spouse far-reaching acknowledgement and hardened her place in TV history. Leanda Page prestigious for her job as Esther Anderson, tenderly known as Auntie Esther, in the work of art sitcom Sanford and Child brought a special mix of parody and genuine. Nest to the character, Auntie Esther was the more youthful sister of Fred Sanford's late spouse Elizabeth, and her personality became one of the most dearest in TV history. Prior to accomplishing notoriety on the little screen page, had a dynamic vocation performing satire in clubs. She started in St. Louis, and later moved to Los Angeles, sharpening her specialty in the coarse live climate of clubs. Anyway, she'd pondered passing on the entertainment business to get back to St. Lewis to really focus on her weak mother, denoting a likely finish to her profession in diversion destiny, mediated when Red Fox, a cherished, lifelong companion of Paige, was projected in a new to rise star and satire sitcom set in Los Angeles, perceiving Paige's ability. Fox carried her to meet the show's makers, who were at that point acquainted with her work. Fox supported Paige to try out for the job of Auntie Esther, accepting she was ideal for the part notwithstanding her club foundation which was tremendously not quite the same as the organized universe of sitcoms. Page's tryout was sufficiently convincing to the worker. The job anyway, changing from the unfiltered live exhibitions of clubs to the more prearranged and practiced universe of TV sitcoms demonstrated testing. The makers of Sanford and Son at first questioned Page's capacity to adjust to the new design. Worries about her exhibition prompted conversations about supplanting her with one more entertainer prior to shooting started. Red Fox, a relentless ally of Paige, interceded definitively. He took steps to leave the show if Paige was terminated, constraining the makers to re-examine his resolute help. Guaranteed that Paige held the job a choice that would end up being a chance for the show's prosperity. Dad's Auntie Esther immediately turned into a champion character cherished by crowds for her sharp mind and unyielding soul. Auntie Esther was an intricate person a faithful churchgoer with a hard-boiled pragmatist mentality. She was never reluctant about talking her brain, especially in her frequently fierce associations with Fred Sanford, played by Fox. Their on-screen relationship was a blend of comedic antagonism and hidden fondness, particularly when it came to their shared love for Lamont. Fred's child and Elizabeth's memory, the comedic grating between the unctuous Auntie Esther, furthermore, the disrespectful Fred gave some of the show's most vital minutes in spite of Sanford and Child being a vehicle for Red Fox Landa. P's Auntie Esther held her own, frequently taking scenes with her searing exhibitions of the person's passionate church-going. Persona remained in unmistakable difference to the body-blue parody of Dad's club acts and accounts exhibiting her flexibility as an entertainer her vocation crossed different classes and stages exhibiting her flexibility and persevering through offer in 1977 page showed up in an episode of the well-known TV series The Love Boat named a classy issue O'Dale, the fundamental occasion close by Sherman Hemley. This appearance was one of numerous visitor jobs that Page would take on all through her prof. Fashion, she likewise graced the dignitary Martin Superstar Cooks, bringing her exceptional brand of humor to the show's star-studded occasions over the course of the following 20 years. Dad's TV presence stayed solid she guested featured in various episodes of very much cherished shows like So Be It, Martin 227 Family Matters, and various strokes every appearance permitted her to show various features of her comedic ability, charming her to another age of watchers at home. 
Thanks for watching this video.